beginners. It's mostly all done by hand. There is no script. There is only bones and constraints and parenting and so on. And for intermediate and pro user, there are some ready to use rigs and scripts like Rigify, like Blend Rig, like um, Rigging Pro, and so on. And when you want to perform some professional, intermediate to professional uh, rigging stuff, you have to put your hand in coding. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what. That's why there is Berifa. And in Berifa, there is no ready to use rigs, but there is some scripts that will help uh, rigging and riggers to perform jobs they want to do. So Berifa is not only one add-on, it's a set of add-ons that will be or are released uh, in uh, open source. And you can find them in the uh, Berifa websites. And now for the entire talk, I will present you some of the, the scripts. It's demo time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start with very simple scripts. And um, the first one, it's switch animation view. Um, you can use the Z keyboard to switch between the graph editor and the top sheet editor. And, okay, switch and view. If you have your mouse here, you can switch with Z. It's very useful when we are doing some, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> when you have only one screen, like me doing the, this demo, you can save space. And uh, you can find these scripts for free on my website. It's very simple scripts. And the mass keying sets scripts uh, for queen keying sets, uh, but not one by one, but you can, okay. You can create a um, keying set for what you want. For example, if I select, uh, here are some legs of my spider. You have here a masking saturation that will create the king set for all the bones in only one button press. And you can choose if you want to create king set for location, rotation, scale. Uh, do not k locked channel if you have some locked channel here that will not create uh, the king set for this one. And if there is some custom property on your bone, you can decide to, to put this in the king set. So for example, the legs. And it will create the king set here directly with all what you want here. <laughs> Thanks. This one is quite an early script, but you can find it uh, on Brifar website for free. The bone chain renamer, okay. This one is not released yet, but uh, maybe in the next couple of uh, weeks or months. Or you can ask me to test it in private beta if you want, if you really need it. For example, if you need to rename all this bone of the deformation layer of your your bones it can take a long time. But you can use uh, these scripts to uh, rename all your bones in one time. For example, if this one, that is currently bone.006, you want to be named arm.l, dot L, sorry, or arm dot def dot L for deformation layer. And you can rename, and it will rename the chain and stopping when there is some 
other stuff like this. There is most there is a lot of children for this, so this one are not renamed. That can be done for fingers, for example, is to decide to rename it uh, finger.l and to select all this one in one time. Sorry. This one and this one and this one and rename. And it will rename finger O and finger one and finger two. <laughs> Lots of time saving. And you can, of course, choose if you want in the properties, user preference, and to rename not uh, finger O, but finger A, finger B, finger C, what, what, want, what you want, and it detects if you are uh, sided. Uh, that the dot L will be not used, but uh, it will, the o -O one will be put after the dot L or dot uh, R. Next one is available on the Blender market. It's a foot roll break to enhance the rigify um, system. For example, on this foot roll, you can put, yeah, it's <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> and when you walk, this don't happen like this. And you can use this script to enhance your Rigify, and it works only on Rigify, to patch your uh, rigging tool. And now you have more option here to have a foot break that will go like this in only one move. OK, if I don't use it, you can break your toes <laughs> and like this. And you can decide that this time where the toes start rotating, it's at 50 degrees, but you can decide that it will be at 12 and it will be adjusted automatically. <laughs> <laughs> So this one is available on Blender markets, and I shouldn't tell that, but it's GPL, so you can find it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, the auto reference space, is useful when you want to change reference space of your bones. For example, here if I move the head, the head don't follow, but maybe you want to the eyes to follow the head when you rotate. So you can use auto reference space and decide that you need to have, uh, for example, three different reference spaces for the roots, the body, and the head. And then I select the eyes. And I create a new reference space system. And you can use some labels, for example, to decide that it will be the wall reference space, the body one, and the head. And I activate the system. And now, if I use the world reference space, nothing happens. But if I decide to put the head reference spaces, no the eyes will follow automatically. <laughs> and you can do the same for body, for example. If I wrote it yet, nothing happened, but no, the eyes will follow the body. <laughs> and you can uh, generate um, a new panel for that, and decide that you will put that on test uh, panel and test tab and generate this. And now you can generate, and you have only 
uh, a new tab, but what it's why doing that? Uh, now you can put Quickframe on that. And now the add-on is no more used. And you can share your rigs with uh, your client or with uh, everyone uh, you want. If uh, the client doesn't have this add-on, uh, it will work. Now the system is uh, including in your rig and no more including in your add-on. So you can share your rigs with this system included. This add-on is not yet available, but okay, if you want to test it on your rigs, if you are a rigger, don't hesitate to come to me. And the next one is a big one for auto-snapping uh, your FK, IK uh, limbs. It's not released yet because it's still in progress and there is a lot of stuff and I'm currently testing it on different uh, rigs and uh, of course it works on some and on some I have to work on it. But uh, the main thing about this add-on is to be able to uh, doing snapping between uh, F key and I key uh, without any one line of Python. So what you can do with uh, this, it's uh, okay. I will doing a demonstration, and I will, I will, and after I will uh, show how to to construct it. To construct it. So you only need to press one button, and it will work. For example, I will doing a little animation. Currently, I am in high key mode and it work with footroll too. And if a button go to F key and you go to F key and it will switch, switch uh, automatically your layers and put automatically some keyframe to your switching, switching mode. And now you can continue your animation and change all this thing and go to I key and continue your animation. And go to F key and so on. And your animation is done. Without one line of Python. How to do that? You only have to construct uh, a system. So you create a new limb and you have to set some bones. So I am going to show you how to do that. You have, if there is some scales, you have to set, okay, this is a global scale root. And you click here on this bone, it's automatically. And then you have to set, okay, what is your I key chain? And my key chain is, uh, for example, uh, this one is the first one, this one is the second one. The target is this one. Okay, it's uh, an I key with a pole bone, and don't remember on which layer it is. Where are you? My god, I lost a bone. <laughs> Yeah, this one. And you can set the foot roll system. Okay, it's maybe a little complicated because the UI needs to be changed because currently all the modes are displayed and I have to simplify it. But you have to decide what is your bone that will roll and what are your bones that you are using for foot rolling. And you have to do the same for F key. F key, first bone, second one, this one, and so on. And after that, you have to decide 
where is your switch bone? You have to know where you put your custom property. And I think it's on, don't remember. Why is the I key? Then, hello. And I think, where is, yeah, this one. And said, okay, this, this one is using your property. And my property is named I key, F key, switch. And currently, my F key is zero and my I key is one when I'm using this switching. And you can now use a bone transformation. For example, say if you are not using uh, I key switching with property, but with uh, another bone that uh, you decide that, okay, it's in space location when I move my bone in X direction, when uh, the X is O, it's F key, and when it's one, it's I key also. You can use this. And after that, for automatic interaction, you can set, okay, on this layer, this is uh, my uh, F key layer. So you uh, only have to select one F key and set, okay, this is this layer. And this layer is I key. Okay, and it will switch automatically. And there is some auto framing for your switch uh, property and also for all your uh, bones, the F key and the I key bones, and you can set that, okay, uh, please automatically all available uh, channel on your rigs or using a key set if you prefer. There is one key set for F key and one key set for I key. And with that, okay, it's done. No, you only have to use it here and to click and it will work. And you can, like the auto-reference space, decide that your client needs this feature but don't need the entire add-on. And so you have two and generation enable and you can decide that, okay, I will generate this rig and all the stuff and the Blender, the Python stuff will be including in your rigs and no more in your add-on. But there is a simple way to do that. You can, of course, if you do that for one limb to mirror copy on the other one. And of course, it's a demo, so it, <laughs> so it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know why. It's OK, never mind. It will work. Tomorrow, it will work. <laughs> I have to fix that. So it's very easy to work and to work uh, in auto snapping with this system but of course it's not easy for me to work on all different rigs that use i key and f key and different role system that doesn't work exactly the same way so if you want this add-on please share with me your i key f key switch system and I am going to test if it works. If it, if, if it doesn't, I will, of course, fix it to work on most, most um, systems that uh, it, it is possible. And the extra group, um, I don't, thanks. <laughs> this is a beta tester. <laughs> So you can manage your uh, groups uh, like you want. Okay, extra groups. And decide that for all this stuff, the legs, okay, this is a new group, it's legs.r, and the legs. Dot L. And for each group, you can 
use different operators that will select your know, total visibility, okay. And for example, I can use this stuff, the A's system. And after that, you don't need all this panel. You can deactivate it in edit mode, okay. And you can set, okay, I want to select um, this group, oh, sorry, select this group, or this group, or this group automatically. And you can decide with shift that you want to add to selection. And you can decide that I don't want to see my A's anymore. No, sorry. And you can decide that you don't want your leg to be selectable, so I can't select your legs on this side. And on animation, you can decide that, okay, I want to mute the eyes, for example, and the eyes doesn't blink anymore automatically. And you can do what you want, and you can decide that this is a particular group where the bones that are in this group is m moving, and this is only the current selection. So all the operators are not available for this current this uh, current selection group because okay, you don't want to select the current selection because it's already selected. Course. Whoops. Yep, 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 yep. Extra group, new preference. I think it's interface size. No. Systems. Systems. Okay, DPI, sorry. Okay, and for all these groups, you can have some preferences. Uh, for example, for Edit modes. Okay, you can have some option, for example, to using king set management. Okay, for this group, I want to select this group. I am going to, sorry, to create, where is it? King set, it's here, mass king set creation. Create a new king set here. For example, okay, the so legs. That's R, okay, create a new. King sets. And for this group, you can decide, okay, this is this king set. And now when you select, okay, I'm going to do the same for this group. And decide that for this one, this, okay. And now when you select your group, it will automatically switching your king set here. So you only have to insert keyframe if you want, and it will switch automatically. <laughs> For each groups, you can, okay, here, when you're using linking system, you can uh, create your groups in your rig file, and after that, when you use uh, an animation file, okay, you can bring data and only click on reload data from library, and it will be uh, transfer all the groups that you created in your uh, rig file to the animation file, and you can manage to add something in your animation file, but it's very uh, easy to switch, to um, link uh, this data to between your uh, animation and reading file. And if you are uh, a developer, you can um, easily create new um, files with uh, this one and decide that in operator, um, you can create new operator, 
but I can't here because I'm a leaking file, so I don't uh, show it uh, with this way, but I, I am going to open the rig file next to show you. And you can, in preferences, um, okay. My God. going to open it again. You can decide which uh, of the um, events you are going to use, the replace, the add, or uh, the remove will be, uh, you can decide uh, what you are going to do using the shift for add, for example, or something like that. And for the mute, you can use the solo mode with control. For example, I want to only um, show the A's movement, so you can create the A's group, and with control, it will uh, mute, sorry, all other thing, and there is only A's moving. Okay, I think this was put on the A's group, so I am can remove it like this. And no, it will move only like that. It's only solo mode, so you can see it if I have some other groups that is solo mode. And you can, of course, yeah, cancel it. So this is not really a rigging uh, add-on, but more an animation add-on. But you know, if you are doing rigging, you have to manage with animation too, to test your rig, of course. And this one is, Adam is not available yet, but in private beta, there is some people that testing it or are going to test it soon. <laughs> and uh, yeah, don't hesitate to come to me if you want to uh, to test it. So what is uh, the current status of um, this Adam? Okay, there is only few releases for now, and all the stuff is in private repository, and there is some private beta tester, but if you know me, if you know my email address, you can became, become a beta tester. So what's next? Um, yeah, more private beta tests, and then release some public uh, beta testing, and of course, continue development to get feedback, to get new ideas and um, what's missing in rigging in, and in, in animation, uh, in animation uh, workflow, because I want to talk about workflows and oh, if there is some tools that need to be done in C instead of uh, add-on, why not to move it personally or to ask it uh, to move to, to C? In, inside Blender. So that's why I'm starting developing add-on because uh, there is some missing feature in rigging, not maybe some missing, but some things that can be done uh, easier. So thanks for watching me and don't hesitate if, hesitate if you have some questions. Yes, I think I have a, yes, yes, it's working. Thank you. Um, I uh, recently tried an add-on called Name Panel. Um, it's an add-on to name multiple objects at once. It has very advanced features, but I was wondering if you know it and if your name, your uh, renamer is a, uh, is something that cannot be done with the name panel add-on. I don't know. I, I don't know this. I don't try this, this add-on. I know, I know that it exists, but I didn't try it. But this chain renamer was developed maybe one year or two years ago, but for, you know, only private uh, own projects. Okay. And Okay, I'm starting to develop it. So okay. three months ago, it was not an add-on, it was only a script. So. 
that you have to launch by hand. Okay. And also, um, it's not really a question, more of a remark. It's about the, the eyes following the head. Yep. Um, I think in, in real life, the eyes never move. Uh, if, you, if you turn your head, your, your eyes always move in micro saccades. I but know, but you can use it for layout, for example. Or it's only, yeah, you know, it's only a, a base for animation. Yeah. Of course, animation will be animated ah, yeah. frame by frame, or yeah. two, or at two, or at three. Okay, thanks. I, I was just curious about your foot patch. Yep. Uh, um, I had a problem with the hand that I was rigging, and when I go from FK to IK, there's like a, like a popping that happens, just a micro popping. And I didn't know whether it was because there was like more fingers involved. Um, with the foot patch, you've, it's quite a simple setup compared to a hand. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you had any problem with, with that or you, or, or you know what that's causing that popping. No, with Wigify add-on? Yeah. Yep. I don't know if you have an example five, we can see it, but I, I, I don't know. I think the end system in Wigify is simpler than the, the foot, because there is no rolling system on the, the end. Okay. So I don't know, I don't know. I don't use in Wigify so much, or the switching system so much. So I don't know, but yeah, we can see if, uh, we can see it uh, after my talk if you want, yeah. Okay. To test if it. I've got it, thanks. <laughs> Yep, I think there is one here and one here. Um, about the problem of uh, domain changes, that I want, just wanted to know how did you solve the problem of changing the domain and associating one uh, bone to another? Uh, it's uh, it with child of constraints. constraints. Okay. Yep. With uh, some drivers, that uh, Python drivers, that and when you switch the. So the domain so with, with constraints and drivers. Yep. Okay. And did you experience any problem in uh, working with constraints and stuff like? I not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but there is always problem. So yeah, not yet. But uh, because I had uh, I had more or less the same problem with you know transformation matrices and uh, changing from one context to another mm -hmm. and. Uh, in s some uh, situations, you can have a problem using constraints and uh, switching from uh, one uh, context to another. It's okay. That's my experience. I mean, yeah, it can be difficult, but uh, sometimes we need some uh, matrix transformation or, or, or so. But okay, thank you. I think there's one question here. Uh, why move to C? What are the limitations of Python in this case? Maybe some perform performance system, uh, performance issue. Um, you know, if, if this is something that everyone wants, why not to put it uh, directly into Blender? Or maybe to make it uh, an official add-on mm -hmm. for first step, but... Uh, Other question? No? Thanks a lot.